welcome back to my channel so today i have a super simple cheap glam makeup tutorial for you guys and i used basically things that i thought like were the cheapest products in my collection but that worked really really well as well i get requested so many like drugstore tutorials so i thought let me do more of them because it's what you guys want to see and i get it because i like i love bargains i love cheap makeup and if you can do like a full glam makeup with cheap products i'm all for it anyways I'm going to stop talking and we'll jump straight into this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. And I'm going to use the Collection Brow Kit. This is the darker version. They have two shades, I believe. I'm going to use this and this. It's so funny, like, when I start first started filling my brows... When I used to like watch beauty videos before I started my channel, like I would say like a year or two before I started my channel, I always said I would never ever wear lipstick. I would never ever fill my brows in. And now I'm just look at me. I, I can't even go out without wearing lipstick now. That's why you should never say never. But as I was saying, I went off topic there. Um, when I first started filling my brows, this is what I would use every day. I'm now going to use the Le Rimmel Brow Gel, this is the clear one, just to make my brows look a bit more realistic, it kind of like separates the hairs. Oh and this brow kit does come with a really good brow gel, I've lost it though, or oh, I finished it, and it comes with a brush so this is such a bargain. I'm now going to use my Wet n Wild concealer just to kind of carve out my brows. So out of all my foundations, I chose the cheapest one that is still really, really good. So I went for the Ordinary Foundation. This is in the shade 2.1 Y. I do have a review on it. I'll link it in the info box. Blend this all out on my skin. I'm going to go in a bit with my Wet n Wild concealer. I'm coming up super washed out on camera I feel like. Which I don't like. Oh my god, I've forgotten how much I love this concealer. I really like my hair. My forehead is so hairy. I really need to get rid of that. Anyways, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. This is literally only £5. A bargain. Now on to bronzer, I'm going to grab my MUA Sunkist Bronze Bronzer. This was literally £3, again another bargain. gonna brush away baking such a good powder just really like my bronzer so I'm just gonna go a bit heavy-handed on the bronzer so I don't want to appear too washed out then for my blusher this is huge humongous for the price so i thought let me just include this one as well it's the makeup revolution gradient highlighter in mood sunlight mood light so it's like a 
it's almost like a peachy kind of blush and I always grab like the, the darker side So pretty. Then on to highlighter, I'm gonna use the Makeup Obsession Highlight in Gold. It's so pretty, look at that. And then finally for my skin, I'm going to use my NYX Dewy Setting Spray and set that all in place. So for my eyes, because this is going to be a super simple glam kind of look, I'm going to use my bronzer as my crease colour. First, first we need to do the base. Makeup Revolution powder just to set that in. And then for like a little like oomph on the eyes, I thought I'd go with the Colourpop eyeshadow in Summer Lovin'. It's a super super stunning like pinky silvery shade. That's what it looks like, it's super like sparkly. You can touch up on your bronzer. The bronzer's not, like you can't really see it, but it's just giving a light shadow like to the crease, that's it. I did want to do like a really nice wing liner. So the liner I use is the Rimmel Glam Eyes Eyeliner. This eyeliner is so easy to use and precise and I get such a sharp wing. I'm just going to go lightly with my concealer brush and just like sharpen this slightly. And the mascara I'm going to use is my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm going to use some of my LA Girl eyeliner in very black. I'm just going to continue putting some mascara on. Doesn't it look so much better when I have my lower lashes done? And then for the lips, I thought I'd go for the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Gold Digger. So yeah, that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.